Welcome back to Dinar Guru. I'm your host, Sophia. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below to stay updated with all the latest news. Welcome to Dinar Guru. Iraq's journey toward accession to the World Trade Organization is reaching a pivotal moment, with a significant meeting scheduled for around the 18th of this month. This meeting is a crucial step in Iraq's long and complex process of joining the global trade body, a move that holds substantial implications for the country's economic future. The accession process, if it continues to move forward as anticipated, could mark a transformative milestone for Iraq, signaling its readiness to integrate more fully into the global economy. Amidst these developments, there are also significant political movements within Iraq. Kurdish leaders are reportedly visiting Baghdad, with rumors suggesting that the long-awaited hydrocarbon law, HCL, might finally be finalized. This law, which governs the management and distribution of Iraq's vast oil resources, is a critical element in the country's economic framework and a potential catalyst for economic stability and growth. In reflecting on these current events, it is essential to consider the historical context and the economic strategies proposed by key figures such as Dr. Sinan al-Shabibi. Dr. Shabibi, a prominent economist and former governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, had outlined a vision for Iraq's economic revival that included the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. This vision, articulated more than a decade ago, continues to influence expectations and speculations about Iraq's economic trajectory. Iraq's accession to the WTO. The WTO accession process. Accession to the WTO is a rigorous and multifaceted process that involves meeting a wide range of economic and legal standards. For Iraq, this process has been ongoing for several years, involving extensive negotiations and reforms aimed at aligning the country's trade policies with international norms. The upcoming meeting with the WTO is a critical juncture in this process. It represents an opportunity for Iraq to demonstrate the progress it has made in implementing necessary reforms and to make a case for its readiness to join the global trade body. Successful accession would not only enhance Iraq's trade prospects but also provide a boost to investor confidence, signaling a more stable and predictable business environment. Implications of WTO Membership Joining the WTO would have far-reaching implications for Iraq's economy. It would open up new markets for Iraqi goods and services, enhance the country's ability to attract foreign investment, and provide a framework for resolving trade disputes. Additionally, WTO membership would require Iraq to adhere to international trade rules, promoting greater transparency and reducing the potential for corruption and inefficiency. For Iraqi businesses, WTO membership could provide new opportunities and challenges. On one hand, it would offer access to a broader range of markets and reduce trade barriers. On the other hand, it would require Iraqi businesses to compete with international firms, necessitating improvements in productivity and competitiveness. The Hydrocarbon Law and its Economic Significance Background and Current Developments The Hydrocarbon Law has been a contentious issue in Iraq for many years. The law is intended to regulate the management and distribution of the country's oil and gas resources, which are critical to Iraq's economy. Despite the importance of this legislation, political disagreements have delayed its passage and implementation. The recent movements of Kurdish leaders in Baghdad have fueled speculation that the HCL might finally be resolved. If the law is indeed finalized, it would represent a significant breakthrough in Iraq's efforts to stabilize and grow its economy. The HCL is expected to provide a clear framework for the distribution of oil revenues, which could help to reduce tensions between different regions and promote more equitable economic development. Economic Impact of the HCL The passage of the HCL could have several positive effects on Iraq's economy. By providing a clear and transparent framework for the management of oil revenues, the law could enhance investor confidence and attract more foreign investment. Additionally, it could help to ensure that oil revenues are used more effectively to support economic development and improve public services. For the Kurdish region, the HCL could provide greater certainty about its share of oil revenues, which could help to reduce tensions with the central government and promote greater political stability. This, in turn, could create a more favorable environment for economic growth and development in the region. Dr. Sinan al-Shabibi's Economic Vision Background and Contributions Dr. Sinan al-Shabibi is a highly respected economist with a distinguished career. He holds a BSc in Economics from Baghdad University, a Diploma in Advanced Studies in Economic Development, an MA in Economics from the University of Manchester, and a PhD in Economics from the University of Bristol. His expertise and insights have been instrumental in shaping Iraq's economic policies. As the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, Dr. Shabibi played a key role in stabilizing the country's economy during a period of significant turmoil. 
He was a strong advocate for monetary policy reforms and the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar, a strategy aimed at restoring confidence in the national currency and supporting economic growth. The revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. One of Dr. Shabibi's most notable contributions was his advocacy for the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. He envisioned a return to the pre-invasion value of the dinar, which was around $3.22. This revaluation was seen as a way to restore the purchasing power of the dinar and support economic stability. Dr. Shabibi's plan also included a focus on maintaining a fixed exchange rate, at least during the reconstruction and infrastructure phase. This approach was intended to provide stability and predictability, which are crucial for economic recovery and growth. Although the revaluation has not yet occurred, Dr. Shabibi's vision continues to influence discussions about Iraq's economic future. Current economic conditions and future prospects. Economic challenges. Despite the positive developments on the horizon, Iraq faces significant economic challenges. The country has been grappling with the aftermath of years of conflict, which have severely damaged its infrastructure and disrupted economic activities. Additionally, political instability and corruption have hindered economic progress. Iraq's economy is heavily reliant on oil exports, which makes it vulnerable to fluctuations in global oil prices. This dependency has highlighted the need for economic diversification and the development of other sectors, such as agriculture, manufacturing, and services. The government's ability to implement effective economic policies and reforms will be crucial in addressing these challenges and promoting sustainable growth. Please subscribe my channel and support me you guys have a great day. Thank you.